with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Hokies are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Caught at the 8. He's out to the 30. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. five-yard line. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And they got it. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive lineman have after that. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Caught over the middle. He's taken down right around the 46-yard line. Zips it out to the right. This will fall incomplete. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Virginia Tech staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. from their own 37-yard line. It's first down. They bring him down. 
you know what happened there? The offensive line was so focused on picking up the blitz, they forgot about blocking the defensive lineman. From their own 36 yard line. Third down. Aaron and out long. It's complete. Brought down around the 10 yard line. What a huge letdown by the defense on a big third down play. Man, that is just inexcusable. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. He's tackled at the two-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That brings up second and one. They come out in a goal line set. Glover gets the call. Touchdown, VTech. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice six play. 77-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He'll return it from the six. Brought down at the 33. The Hokies are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle at the line of scrimmage there. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball in the 29. Rush 36. 36 to Mike. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Clayton gains about four yards on the play. Let's go, let's go. Mike 36. Mike 36. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. And that was a nice stretch for the D there. Yeah, they really cranked it up a notch on that series. Coleman is waiting for the snap. Tackle at the 38-yard line. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. That makes it seven and six. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Virginia Tech up seven points. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made at the 44. Gain of 14 on the play. That makes it first and 10. And they hit him in the backfield. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. 
We've played one. Virginia Tech in front, 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Third down now. They need to get it down to the 34. Looking for his man, incomplete. Williams is the putter. So nowhere to go there. Great job of getting downfield and making the tackle by the coverage team. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Makes it to the 12-yard line. Nothing doing on the halfback draw. That brings up second and nine. to the 30 and they push him out at the 35. A tight end that has this young man's skills as a real weapon for any offense. He can catch the ball, create mismatches, and force a defense to pay attention to him. Fires out quickly to the tailback, and he's tackled right around the 40. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's at the 30. He goes out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Quickly, he was able to get into the backfield and make that tackle. Not many guys that big can move that fast. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The Tar Heels saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Let's go! Red 68! Red 68! Throws left. The running back's got it. Tackle at the 24. That's, That's a gain, a gain of four on one play. play. That'll, That'll bring, bring up third and eight. Right left, right left. Four down, four down. 26, Mike. 26, Mike. Jack, Jack. Patriot, Red Patriot. 85. Jack, 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 Jack. Red 85. Got a man 
get tackled for a loss. That's a loss of four yards. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. sure about that play call as they fail on fourth down. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Virginia Tech is up by a touchdown. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there where he doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. That makes it first and ten. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Pressured and brought down. Virginia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It's second and 15. Ball on the 48-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down to the 39-yard line. That's a deep run. He tackles him hard at the 26-yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. Virginia Tech is up a score. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. That makes it first and goal. Looking to go up two touchdowns. He scrambled. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. From the eight-yard line. He's tackled at the 31. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. He guns it. 
Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 31. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. So they run the same pass play again. Yeah, typically you'll see this when teams are having success with a particular player. They feel confident about a play's chances. He chucks it downfield. In and out of his hands. Washington's intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Wesley will be the return man. Oh, man, he took him down hard. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Throws it deep. Missed him. We've played a half. The Hokies in front, 14-0. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use this strip stick, you know, to be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kurt, ready for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He's to the 20. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's tackled in the open field. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Mike nine, Mike nine. And they make the stop around the 29-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Scrambling around. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. It's third down and 10. Ball on their own 30. Strike to his receiver. No good. Deep to return.
takes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Got it. And he goes down quickly. He's tackled at the 42 yard line. They work the outside. Quick toss. And this one falls incomplete. Overthrew his man, but boy, did he have some heat on it. He just needs to put a little bit more touch on that pass. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. The intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and three. They'll spread the field with five wide. He might have a chance, and he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. He's pushed out of bounds around the 23-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Now he's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. They come out in a five-wide set. And he throws it away. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Fires out to his receiver. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. And a great job of not allowing this explosive freshman to do anything with the ball after the catch. And he tacks on the extra point. Thompson ready to kick. Glover takes it at the four. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Virginia Tech up seven points. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. 
Ball on their own 34. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Gain of 18 yards. First down. This quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. From the 48-yard line, second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Caught out in the open. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. That'll make it 35. with room to work. Brought down at the 15. First down. From the 15 yard line. It's first down. Virginia Tech is up seven. The 10. And he's tackled at about the three yard line. That's a That makes it first and goal. It's away from him. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Houston in action over in Houston. And for Houston, they reach the end zone with an aerial dart. Hart's arm is working its magic. He's thrown a touchdown pass in this one. The Cougars on top, 7-0, early in the first quarter. All right, Reese, back to our game. Nicholas they line up to kick this one away. Nicholas fields it at the 1. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 30-yard line. Virginia Tech coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. So at the end of three, Virginia Tech in front, 21-7. into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action it's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series catches it and that's all to go long and does. Tackle at the nine. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he dives forward.
converts the extra point. So a four-play, 70-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Virginia Tech is up by a touchdown. Here's a run. Nice run, and he's brought down. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Down he goes at the 32. decisive at all in that option and once he kept it himself there was no place to go Williams to punt to the 40. Brought down at the 44. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. Yeah, this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And they're coming after this punter. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. at the 38-yard line. The Tar Heels will use their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's at midfield. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. That makes it first and 10. it to the 45-yard line. North Carolina will have one timeout remaining. Second down and seven. Ball on the 45. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Good outside run there. North Carolina has called their final timeout. Just under two minutes in the game. He's in trouble. Looking for the corner. He's at the 20. And they finally knock him out at the 14. Super play, especially by everybody on that offensive line to create gaps, let the runner burst through to pick up the first. From the 14-yard line, first down. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Penalty Those markers one. down, they took too much time. Offense. And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Bears take the field today just barely hanging on to a spot in the top 25 at number 25. And for Kansas State, they put together a solid drive capped by a scoring run. Baylor leads it 14-10. All right, thanks, Reese. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Turning deep to return. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. Not a whole lot of time left in this game, Brad. They've got to score down two possessions, and they need to score as fast as they can and then recover an onside kick and hope to be able to have a shot to tie this game. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And they make the stop around the 25-yard line. The draw play gets maybe two yards. That makes it second and eight. Spikes the ball. From their own 25-yard line, third down. And he's tackled right away. He's going to go for the home run. It's broken up. It looked like the quarterback thought he had an open receiver there, but I don't think he saw the linebacker. That makes it second and ten. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. Gonna go across the middle. Caught. He's taken down at the 49. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him a first down. That's just a nice play. First down. Under heavy pressure, and he hits him hard at the 43. The spike will stop the clock. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Over the middle to his tailback. He's tackled at the 48. Jack, Jack, 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! Ready! 395! He zips it. Pulls it in and he could score. Touchdown! Big play!
He makes the PAT. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. The Hokies know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future. But for now, he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance. And, and really, the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.